guys, it's Uriah with Guardian Safety Lock again. Uh, we are, it's 8, 8.29 p.m. in Houston, and we are headed to uh, the Dallas area to rekey, to master rekey three Sunita's medical locations. We've been rekeying the ones in Houston on a master key system at multiple locations in Houston, so we're gonna add on three more buildings uh, in addition to the current master key system that we currently have set up for them. So we're taking a night road trip. We've got about a three and a half hour drive. We're gonna end up in Irving, Texas, which is a little city inside the Dallas area. And we're gonna rekey, master rekey one of their buildings tomorrow. And then master key rekey another one of their medical complexes in Richardson, Texas tomorrow, which is also around Dallas. And then Sunday morning rekey the Mesquite location, which is also around Dallas. And then after that, come back uh, Sunday evening. So uh, I just want to make a video. We'll update you throughout the process of what's going on, and uh, stay tuned. Okay, we're uh, about three hours into the trip now, and we're in the home stretch. Maybe another 10, 15 minutes before we get to the hotel. It's been a long drive. We're tired, and uh, we're gonna pack it up. As you can see, Dallas is right there, so we're uh, getting very close. And uh, I guess we'll. Uh, pick back up when we finally arrive here in the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, it's Saturday morning here in Dallas. Uh, we're on our way to uh, Riki Asanitas. Uh, medical complex. It's um, in Irving, Texas. We're gonna show you some snippets throughout the day of the process, what we're doing, Master King building, and then uh, after we're done with that location, we're gonna go over to the location at Richardson and do the same thing, and we'll uh, document the whole process as we do it. And then also tomorrow we'll be going to Mesquite, another city here in the Dallas area, and then wrapping it up and then heading back for a four-hour drive. So it's gonna be a busy weekend, and I'll keep you updated. Okay, so we arrived at the first location uh, here in Irving, Texas, so let's get started. I'm just making some of the keys for the property we're on using the blue punch machine, which we just made a video of on our uh, YouTube account, so if you're interested in how this machine works, look it up on our YouTube uh, account. Okay, so we're wrapping up uh, the first location at Irving. Uh, as you see, I've got all the cylinders over here all re-keyed, all the old keys and getting rid of. I'm stamping and making all the rest of our keys that we need to complete this location. And then we're gonna move on to our next location at Richardson. Uh, stay tuned. All right, we're done with the first location. Finally, it took a little longer than expected. Uh, Irving is done. So what we did is we did a master key system. So what a master key system is is when you have you know, uh, all these different locks that work under a system, we have a master that operates everything. And what we're doing for Sunitas is basically all their locations, Houston, uh, Dallas area, which is Irving, Mesquite, Richardson, and then San Antonio and Austin, and all these different locations they have across the state of Texas, we're putting it on a master key system. So they're going to have a grand master that works all their locations, and then each location has its own master. And then at each location, it has its own set of keys under that master. So it's a bunch of math and the way that we key and stack pins. It's called Master Keying. Uh, we wrote a blog on Master Keying. If you click on the link, we'll put a link in here for you to click on it. It'll take you to the Master Keying blog, and it'll explain in depth a little bit more about what that is. But just wanted to give you an update. We're finished with the first location and headed on to the second one. So uh, we arrived at the location um, in Richardson and we got thrown a curveball right away. We've been doing everything on SC4 keyway, so this standard pull the lock cylinder out, rekey it. Well, we got thrown a curveball. Uh, fortunately, we can still make it work, but we're going to have to do a bunch of additional steps to get this, this building rekeyed. Uh, this is a, is a removable Schlage core, basically. It's, it has a special, you have to cut a special key that pulls in this back plunger 
that allows the cylinder to come out in your hand so you can rekey it. So they have different keys for every locks. So I have to make, I have to copy their working key onto a, another key that kind of looks like this where the tip is adjusted so that it'll uh, allow that back plunger to pull in. So I have to make copies of all the current keys for all the locks, modify them with this, with this uh, modified tip here so that it'll pull in the plungers and allow all the locks to come out so I can rekey them. Fortunately, when I key everything back up to a new master, I could just cut the master on that new modified key and have to make one of these kind of control keys to pop them all back in. But in order to remove all these locks, I'm gonna have to cut one of these special keys for every single one of them to remove the cylinder, then re-key them. And then when I put them back in, I'll just cut the master with this modified key and it'll master put everything back in. So uh, we're gonna get started. It's probably gonna be a long afternoon. Okay, so this is how I make one of those modified keys. I uh, take the key with the tip cut out already. Uh, has a dimple on it. I'm going to duplicate it onto this key. I'm putting it tip to tip so that I can push all the cuts back on the key and make the tip allow to pull that plunger in on the back. So first step is to put the control key on here, cut back the top shoulder, then cut the tip back with the modifier and flip it over and cut the back bottom shoulder back just a little bit so that the key can go in a little further. Then once I do that, I'm gonna take the key that I need. Let me grab this key here real quick. Okay, so for instance, this one is the nurse station. I'm gonna take the current nurse station key, put it in here, and then I should be able just to show you here first. I'm gonna put it in the gauge shoulder to shoulder and it kicks everything back if you look because uh, the shoulder is back farther. So I'm gonna copy this key onto that key and you'll see here how it turns out. And then I'll take the video inside when the lock cylinder comes out and you can see how that all works. So, okay, so that's in spot. Let me duplicate this onto there. Okay, so now we have the modified key for that door that I should be able to pull the, the cylinder out now and rekey it. So let's go inside and uh, take a look at that. Okay, so we cut the key back. Uh, we got the new control key and we put it in here, pulls the plunger back in. And then all we need to do is slap that inside. And then get the cylinder in, turn it back straight, test the key. And that's it, that one works. Okay, so it's been a long night. It's 7.34. We started uh, early this morning, probably about 8.45, 9 o'clock. Um, we got our last lock done. We had a couple we had to drill out, a couple we had to make a bunch of keys for. Um, we had to add a, a lock box on the outside of the building because we were here so late. So we got it done, and uh, we'll update, uh, update you tomorrow whenever we go to the Mesquite location. Okay, guys, we're... Um, back at it again Sunday morning we're now going to be doing the uh, Mesquite Texas Sanitas location and uh, this one has about 15 locks so we got to cut different keys for every one of them make copies rekey them all stamp all the keys turn them all over to uh, to the, uh, our contact here at Roa uh, at uh, Sanitas and then go from there so we'll keep you updated along the way wrapped up our last location in Mesquite, uh, the Sanitas Medical Centers. 